Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's poppin'? It's your boy. He's back in bed with Gucci or whatever. I'm back again with another video. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. going to keep it quite simple because I don't know how long I'm going to spend here today. I just finished watching The Crown season 4 just in time before season 5 starts and I have many many thoughts. <laughs> First of all, TV has not been this excellent in a while. If you don't watch The Crown, I think you should. I think I said in my previous video. I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, period pieces. Because I'm black, you know, it's kind of like a bit like, it's not really great for us to watch, is it? Because, you know, some might be able to see their grandparents in these shows. I can't, but anyway. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, subscribe. Thank you very much. It helps a lot. Let's get into this video. Well, my computer's randomized in order, which I think is fun. So we're going to start that way. And I'll be starting with the heffiest heifer of them all. I think the queen of all sex. Oh, wait. I would just like to preface that everything I say in this video is a line of joke and I will not be sued for certain comments against the royal family. Disclaimer. Now let's get back into it. Gary. I'll be starting with the heffiest heifer of them all. Like I said, the queen of all side chicks. If you're trying to, you know, steal someone's man, these are the notes you should take. Shout out to the big old freak. First of all, I can't stand this her. Let's just make that very clear. She came onto the scene and said, yeah, goodbye. I think she existed for one purpose and one purpose only, to piss Diana off. And obviously, in the long run, who won? Hmm. Maybe that's a lesson for good things happen to wicked people. Quick summary, she was married, had a little friendship with Prince Charles, which again, I always say, if your partner has a best friend or close friend that they tell you not to worry about of the opposite gender, I'm so sorry. After this, worry. Worry and worry hard. Ask questions and interrogate. Oh, he's my bestie. Engraving jewelry for each other. Personalized jewelry. I'm so sorry, I have best friends. We ain't never done that. Diana and Camilla had a little sit down. Camilla was just like, oh, you don't know all these little things about him. And Diana was very much like, oh, this bitch is trying me indeed. She did her job and she did it well. We know how history turned out. She did end up with the man, so. Overall, low down dirty trick. Charles also stayed in the countryside, by the way. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the palace that's just in, in central London like this, he decided to stay in the countryside because it was closer to where this heifer and her husband lived. That should tell you everything. So anyway, next, I have no clue who's next. I want to preface, I think his name's Josh O'Connor. If I'm close, shout out to me. I was right. So I just want to say, Josh O'Connor is a fantastic actor. However, Kylie Dye is going to watch this video. This is a message to Josh. Shout out to you, you great. However, you have tainted yourself. I know this is the opinion of one uh, merely lowly black young man. However, anything else you play, I will only see you as, oh, Prince Charles playing a different role. Like, I will always remember the evil you have done. And it is enough. It is enough. Now, I completely get, you know, duty, responsibility, whatever divine right they've decided to put on their head as the Windsors. You know, you have to marry a certain woman of a certain caliber, of a certain standard. Diana didn't deserve all that. You approached her. You asked her to come to your country home in Balamoria, or wherever they went in Scotland. You brought that burden into her life. To now marry her and make sure that every day of her life is the day she suffers? Wow. What a wicked man. The misogyny of the crown. Wow. First of all, women deserve no rights. That's basically what he said. He was mad when Diana wasn't, you know, doing well. Diana went home, did the work, came back shining, made sure the public fell in love with her, and this little insecure little piece of dust now has a problem with the fact that oh, all the attention is on you, you're taking it away from me. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Can't win, can't lose. He drove the to emotional torment. I have no clue who's next, so this should be interesting. Oh, this is side man of the year. In this video, I spoke more than he spoke across like this season. I've always thought like he gave big prick energy. I don't know this man from nowhere. I will say he was one of the only people, well, Hmm. When you're in the dark, anything looks like light. I was going to say he was like one of the only people to like try and make Diana feel comfortable in the family. Did he? No, I just think he was the least wicked towards her. 
Now, before I even get into the character, I want to tackle the script writing. The script writers handled the eating disorder of Diana so delicate. It, it, it was fantastic to watch. I normally like see the things and I'm just like, okay, skip an episode or two or just like leave it. They didn't make me uncomfortable. Shout out to the people on the script and the directors because that was great. Anyway, this is my girl. I'm a ride for her. I'm a die for her. I don't care. She did nothing wrong. Okay, yeah, maybe she cheated, but she did. Mm. Damn, shouldn't have led with that. I would be a horrible lawyer in court. She was mad in her business. Her sister was friends with Prince Charles. You chose me. You chose me. You were the one that then invited me to a family home in Scotland. She's a charming effer. So therefore, when your whole family falls in love with me, and you now say, oh, you know what? They're forcing me to marry you, but you're not that bad. I'm going to marry you. And then I'm struggling with like getting used to this royal life and all your rules and who to curtsy to in what order. All these customs like that are very overwhelming if you weren't like if you didn't grow up and you weren't born into that life like Camilla was <laughs> and that stupid stupid child never failed to remind us you've now decided to marry me you decide that whilst I'm a city girl and you met me in the city this is one thing like I hate you meet your partner in a certain phase you get with them and then you want to change everything about them sorry she OG city girl you now want to pluck me and take me to the to the backyard fields of, of, I don't know, sorry. I don't wanna live there! With goats hopping around my fence. No, thank you. Whoa, Camilla, 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 Camilla. She fought for that marriage. My goodness. Fool me one time. Resentment. Fool me twice. Done. It was down the season. End of, sorry. Season one, two, three were the warm up. This, this the big meal. Next, we have to, sorry, I just want to say that I want to leave my allyship at the door for a second. We don't talk enough about white excellence because this over here, this mama, this big mama playing Princess Margaret. Yeah, really and truly, she was just an embodiment of how whiteness works. And I did not want to get sociological, but I have to just for a little bit. It's very interesting that like, you know, white people very much operate under the guise of, oh, there's plagues and really bad things in the world. However, I, I'm not affected, therefore blind eye. All of a sudden now she cares about like, you know, health and charity and all that kind of stuff when she found out she was ill. But yeah, the ill cousins that were hidden and like declared dead. Yeah, I'm so sorry, that family crazy is here. I just know there's some dark shit that happens behind those doors. I loved, loved, loved that. One thing about her, she kept her foot on her sister's neck. You might be queen, however, I'm your terror. Respect, because what you gonna do? At the end of the day, you can't. You're not gonna kill your sister. I wouldn't be surprised if. Next we have the big old G, Queen Lizzie. Obviously I R.I.P. to the real one, but we're not here to talk about her, we're talking about her. This woman is a fantastic actor. Her and Tatra's relationship this season, beyond incredible. These heifers hated each other till they had to draw their last breath. Well, not last breath. Now, one thing I will say, and I will die on this hill. Children of Empire, hmm. It's accurate for the time historically, but to sit there and watch her parade Africa, trying to like keep the Commonwealth together, it's like, sweetie, your, 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 your dad created a system that scattered communities. But you're happy that you get some jewelry out of it? Okay, I guess. Shut the hell up. Um, Lil Mama sex education over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did British history, so I did the period of like Thatcherism and all. And just from that, like, I hated Margaret Thatcher. Here, I love to hate Margaret Thatcher. I fear I'm a stan. The one thing I love is very good character development. She started off clumsy as hell. Oh God, her first like three, four, five months of like interaction with like the royal family and all. It was so clumsy to watch. I was like, oh God, good girl. Like they went stalking and sis was in heels and a ball gown. But once she found her foot and said, wait, my daddy was poor. I worked my back foot off. Now I'm prime minister. I don't live to impress these rich entitled heifers. And she did a full 360 and kept her foot on the crown. She did not take a break. The queen was gagged. Gagged. Chew her up. <laughs> One thing I really, really get worried about. When 
a character gets in, into the racism a little too much, I start questioning like, oh, this is a little too true to form that it has to be the view of the actor. But why should Britain associate themselves with those type of countries, Nigeria, Ghana, Swaziland. I said, ooh, ooh, now hold on, Miss Racist. Now hold on, Miss Racist. She better not have those views. But honestly, loved, 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 loved this season, mainly because of her. Carried it on her neck. Like, her back hurts. And then obviously, like, for me, the little gags of, like, basically firing your entire captain and saying, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bringing people I like. I don't like y'all. Just like me. Oh! Go on, twin. Have fun. Overall, honestly, I re like. I think I binged it in like maybe three days. And I love the fact that I didn't watch it when it first came out. I think in like a week or two weeks time. I can't remember. Season five drops. So it's like all fresh in my memory. And I'm so grateful for that. Honestly, if you haven't watched The Crown, I would say watch it. Yeah, that's it from me for this video. If you like videos like this, then obviously great. Um, give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe um welcome here welcome to the gang join the cool kids club that's it from me stay blessed and stress never vex i'll see you guys in next week's video until then um until then stay alive we in a recession and y'all it is ugly out here it is ugly out here the prime minister is changing every week but you know who doesn't change god hallelujah so um yeah stay blessed and peace out Bye.